G'day guys, Josh from Yard Homestead. Well, it's pretty much the end of our growing season here. It's getting too hot to really plant anymore. And it's now time to do some harvesting. So I'll be harvesting, oh, well, we'll see what we get from the Anazazi corn. That one didn't do too well this year uh, with a few struggles that it had with the overspray, the heat, uh, wind. <laughs> mock up and running through we'll see what we can salvage out of the anazazi crop and i've also got some the barley to harvest sunflowers are ready to harvest as well oh well, not all of them but most of them are ready to harvest it's been well over uh 43 degrees uh all last week it actually got up the hottest it got to was 47 uh, today's supposed to be pretty warm as well so I'm out here early uh, to try and get and even now it's still quite warm so let's get into it so this is what's left of the Anazazi corn it's uh, really been hit hard this year with all sorts of problems but we'll see what we can salvage for seed for next year or another year because I've got some other varieties I've got to try and grow as well now, sorry about the wind. It is quite windy. It's always windy here. So we'll see how we go. All right. Now, let's have a look and see what this little one's like. Yeah. Even the pollination wasn't that good. I don't know if I'm showing you this right. But there is a few kernels there that I can use for seed. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just go and harvest it. Uh, try and get out of this wind and heat as quickly as possible. So I'll go through and we'll pick it and I'll show you at the end how much I got and how well it did. Okay, so it wasn't a lot, which I wasn't expecting a lot really because uh, of <laughs> the circumstances. But, uh, and they're very small cobs. With Anazazi, I think it's only a small corn anyway. But we'll open them up and see how we went. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't good germination on a lot of it either. This one here. This is a this is the result of poor germination. But those seeds will still be okay. Uh, I have grown from seed like that and still gotten good corn. But it's not the ideal to collect from. Oh these flies are bad. They love this heat, this hot weather. So it's not the ideal what you want to be collecting from for seed. But when you don't have much choice, then um, you just go with what you can get. And that there will still get me some seed. But let's see what else we've got. We might have some better ones to collect from. This one on is pretty small. So, oh, and something's having a 
bit of a feast in here. Something's been chewing. So I've had pest. Yeah, grasshoppers was a problem too. Chewing off the tassels in some of them. Uh, see, this one here has been chewed off. Oh, I'm not expecting a good one from this. Oh, hello, Mocha. All right, I'll just go to Mocha. So, I'm not expecting a good one out of this one. But then again, I might be surprised. Oh well, that's not too bad actually. It's got a few, few nice kernels on there. It's actually still quite green, surprising, after it's just dried off from that heat. But that's okay, I'll hang them to dry as well. That's why I'm pushing all these back so I can, pushing all this back so I can tie it up and hang it up to to dry nicely but that's not too bad there's a few few kernels on that one but something's had a chew in here a couple of the kernels have been eaten out by something probably little black ants or some type of weevil so I'll continue opening these up and I'll show you a bit later how I did Okay, so this is pretty much what I've got um, off the corn, the Anazazi corn. Now, it didn't do too good. This one's not too bad. This one's got some nice colour as well. And so that'll be great for seed. Ideally, yeah, you want the nice full cobs, a good size seed. So this, this one here... Yeah, there's a couple of not too bad ones in it. There's a lot of undeveloped seed as well. So that's not ideal. So that will probably go to, yeah, that'll go for animals. But these ones here I'll keep for seed. Uh, that one's quite full, but it's just a small cob, but that's okay. And then I've got some hanging up. Now hopefully the lighting, because of the... So this is how I hang them to dry, just off some um, hessian twine. That's the ideal sort of cob that you want to save your seed from. That one there is a good cob. That one's good as well. That one's probably second grade because it is missing a few. Now I won't be weighing these in because I'll be using that for seed stock. So yeah, this I'll get them strung up okay so the anazazi corn is all hanging up now to dry i've got it up on the curtain rod up against the window now this window does not get direct sunlight you do not want to dry it out in direct sunlight it will damage your seed this is shaded all the time and it doesn't get too hot because of the patio and during the day if it's a hot day i've got the air conditioner running as well so you want to keep your seed in a nice cool dry um, place out of direct like harsh sunlight i know it gets some light through here but it's not direct sunlight 